Hey, what's up everyone? We're back playing some Pharmacy Simulator. Let's get started. Ooh, 15. Prize money. Ooh, a new cash register. Recruitment of workers. Okay, this is big. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So wait, what do you mean I got a new cash register? What's the difference with... What, what does it mean I got a new cash register? Let's see... Height, weight, scale. Why do I even need that? St oh, I oh I can buy another register. Oh, because I'm assuming now Bilal. Yo, one of my preceptors was named Bilal. That's sick. Manuel Garcia, Gary Finch, Elizabeth Becker, Karen and John Silversword. These two are married. Pharmacists. Okay. Fee, daily salary. Da Dang, 150 for... Oh, that it there. Oh, these guys are cheap. No, normal pharmacists really should be getting minimum of like 45 an hour, minimum, absolute minimum. Really, they should be getting 50, 55, 60 an hour. Oh, but I guess their ability. Faculty. What does faculty of a pharmacy mean? Faculty. What? Okay. Is it like, did they like teach somewhere? Recruitment fee is 250. Okay. Well, maybe we hire. Okay, I do not want below. I'm sorry. I, uh, yeah, so maybe we'll get manual here. Oh, I have to buy a cat. Wait, what do you mean? Why can't he just take this one? I don't want to use this one. Okay, so. Uh, wait, seriously, we have to. Okay, so I, do we always need to leave one open for me? Oh, okay. So once again, I have to, I have to 2,500, bro. That's rough. Dude, can I straight up take out a loan right now? It's all 3% interest anyway, right? Okay, there we go. So now I can buy, I think this is all going to be worth it. Cause I honestly, I just want someone else to help me here. Okay, let's go ahead and delete these. Okay, so we now we have another register. We're, get, we're getting, we're moving here, we're moving. Okay, now you, we need to flip this around. We we'll put that right there. All right, let's get. What was her, what was her name? Manu, Manuel. All right, Manuel, what do you look like? You better be in a white coat when you arrive, bro. No white coat, nothing? Yeah, I don't know, man. Where's your name tag? Yeah, I don't I don't know if I can trust this guy, to be honest. Let's go ahead and close this down. Y'all want to move over to him? Yeah, I don't know, man. Where's where's your polo? Uh, wait, is, is, there, is that a polo under? All right, he's fine. All right, I'm just judging. Hey, can you guys... Okay, you know what? Let me finish up... Let me finish up these guys and hopefully the rest will go to a manual. Yeah, go to that guy. Look, look how smart he looks. Go to him. He knows what he's doing. Probably not, but it's okay. Five dollars. All right. So what does he do? He, he does everything, right? He just goes and grabs what he needs. All right. See, this is what I need. This is what I just need someone to do it. <laughs> So that I could focus on things like stocking. Alright, this this is big. This is big. And I'll be able to help a lot more customers. But now, I just need to get a bit more money. To buy more stuff. Because my stock is just running a bit low. But dude, I'm telling you. Once I get at least like two pharmacists running at once. This will be the nastiest operation you've ever seen in your life. Okay, I unlocked Derma Cosmetic Products. All right. All right. Another day, another dollar. Now, my question is, how do I... Oof. 
Okay, so those are my income, expenses, debt, bills. So question, do they automatically take out the loan money? That's what I'm assuming they're doing. Like, I don't, do I have to pay the loans? Okay, so yeah, I think it automatically pays my loans, which is nice. I know in some other games, you actually have to come in and pay. Now, why can't... Wait, I can recruit. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, because I was wondering, like, do I have to specifically be at one of them? But no. Alright, Bilal. Yo, what is up with the... Be Dude. Who is your barber? Oh, they messed you up. Oh, look at your face. Oh, no. I hired Post Malone to be my pharmacist. What does that even say? Type? Is that D's nuts? Like, what? What is on your shirt? Oh, no. Who did I hire? Okay, well, at least now I got two pharmacists. Meaning... I don't think I'm going to touch that anymore. I think I'm just going to focus on stacking the bread. You know what I mean? I'll just be the stocking person now, and I'll let these two bozos handle the real work. At least up until we get real prescriptions, and at that point, maybe I'll step back in. I, I don't know if I trust this guy. I think he just graduated, I'm going to be honest. All right, yeah, I'm just going to focus on stocking, and I'll let these two guys take care of the out front. Look. Theoretically, they are both licensed pharmacists, right? You can't become a licensed pharmacist if you're dumb. But I say that, and... Also, I really should move this, like, over here. You know what? Maybe I'll do a little shift right now. Let's go ahead and move this, like, over here. Let's move this over here. Alright, let's move you a little closer to the shelves. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now at least... Oh, that, that, this guy's kind of far away from the shelves. Maybe we'll remove the shelves a little bit over, but at least this way they're a little closer. I think we also now have enough money. Let's buy... We need... Let's buy one more product shelf. Hmm, Electra... We don't need any of that. And then let's actually go to the products themselves. Alright, let's buy a little bit of each. 630? Okay, we have just enough. I was, I was about to say, like, bro, where's my stuff? No way I just got ripped. Alright, let's put these right next to each other. It looks like we ran out of the other things. Alright, here we go. Alright. That is... Baby shampoo. These are baby diapers, because there are actually adult diapers, too. I think I need like one more shelf to fit in this last product but maybe what I'll do is I'll just like stick it in this last slot here and just be that <laughs> that'll be what it'd be all right now we also need to adjust the prices so let's go ahead and make this 13 make that easy this is still five so that's good five adult diapers let's make that 22 is this yogurt? Oh, personal care products. Okay, so actually we might need another shelf now. Let's go ahead and um, make this one. Let's make that seven. This will make five. Same thing, we'll do five on that one. Two on that one's okay. And then I think this is already good. Okay. Okay, so now we can buy... What is it, the personal products? 
Oh, we can also buy this dirt. Oh, crap. We can buy this derma and hygiene stuff. Oh, I'm going to need more shelves, aren't I? Store. Okay, you know what? Let's just buy two product shelves. That's going to be like all of my money. But then once we get more money, we'll buy the other products. Uh, but first things first. Let's just get some room for them. Whenever I do get them. Alright, there we go. So now when we have enough money to buy them. Actually, some of the stuff we might be able to buy already. Hold on, hold on. Therma. If I add all of this to my cart, how much will it be? Oh, okay, hold on. I need 35 more dollars. Come on. I think that's like one transaction max. Come on, man. You guys are so slow. Please, fin finish a transaction. Oh, dude. $3 away. Come on. i about to hop on one of these registers myself. Alright, let's just restock while they're... Oh, there we go. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay. No, don't need to go to the bank. Okay, there we go. Derma stuff. Let's see. Does this come in a lot of bottles like the other one did? Okay, good. There we go. You know what? Maybe we'll just fix prices as we go. So this was a dollar. So let's make that one $2. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of der derma stuff. So we need we definitely needed those extra shelves. Okay. Let's go ahead and make that one. All of these are going to be, I think, around $2. Because, I mean, we bought them pretty cheap. Altiderm. And I really should be looking at these, like, <laughs> active ingredients for these things, but... Yeah, this one doesn't even, like, tell me what's in it. It just... <laughs> Here's the name. Just trust me. This stuff's good. Face cream. Again. Ooh, I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> Bless me. Thank me. Oh, okay. Am I even going to have enough? Because I also... Oh, my, I'm going to need more shelves. Because I also have the personal hygiene stuff unlocked also now. Let's make this seven. Oh, no. I'm going to need more shelves. And I got to be careful because I still got, like, my loans to pay. At least all this is going to get me money. So it's not... It's, I'm not, like, losing money on this stuff, but still. Okay, I, th I, ha I technically have room for... Well, actually, I have... I can put them in these third slots, too. I might as well actually just do that. This will be $5. There we go. Yeah, actually, I'll have enough room for these. But then I will need to buy another product shelf. For all, actually, probably two for all that personal hygiene stuff. All right, let's see. We'll make this $2. Double our money on that bad boy. All right, last item here. Just another skincare cream. Half of these probably don't work, just like in real life. But, oh, we can upcharge $9 for that one. Okay. Take a look at this personal cosmetic store. Personal medical we don't have yet. Okay. Ooh, this stuff's a little bit more expensive. So we're going to need a minimum of at least two more product shelves. So $500 more minimum before we can get started on that stuff. Ooh, and my shelves are... Ooh, my shelves are not doing good. I might... Actually, I might need a... Ooh, 19. Ooh, we unlocked a warehouse. Oh, so these guys could hopefully... Hold on, if I got a warehouse, does that mean I can hire techs? Because so far... These are all pharmacists. I really shouldn't be having pharmacists doing like, inventory stuff. Ooh, okay. Level 20 medicine shelf. Oh, we can... Okay. Ooh. We got our first prescription license. All right, hold on. How much is that prescription license? 
Oh, it's probably going to be so much. Oh, 1500 Actually, I could buy that, like, now. Okay, hold on. That could be sick. Oh, and I just realized I got $1,000 from that. That's why I was like, where did all my money come from? All right. Well, let's probably buy that license right away. I think that's going to be gigantic for us. Also, we got some warehouse. I need to buy it, right? Oh, rent. Okay, so I don't think I... Do I need a warehouse right now? I feel like right now we don't have enough stuff to where like I'm having trouble keeping up. Alright, let's go ahead and buy that license and see what happens. Okay, so now... Oh, and we don't actually have to take an ex... Oh, the license. Was there a difference between a license and an exam? All right, I thought this was interesting. What is the difference between a certificate, a certification, and a license? So let's start with certification. This is awarded by an association company or independent organization that basically intends to certify someone for work in a particular industry. Now, what is a certificate? This is post-secondary that showcases that a person has gone basically specialized training or you know farther training in a particular area now how does that differ from a license a license is a professional license authorized usually by the government it is state level it is validation of competence and adherence and i looked into it yeah a license is not required to sell supplements or vitamins in the united states so Kind of a lie that I need to buy a license for it. I just need a license, obviously, f to sell the prescription drugs. Because I actually, like, I would love to take, like, an actual license. White prescription. Yeah, there's no such thing as white prescription. All right, so let's take a look at some of these medications. Abixaban. That's that's funny, because in real life, it is, yeah, Apixaban. All right, I've got the monograph pulled up of Apixaban. Let's talk about it a little bit. First... What does it do? It is an anticoagulant. It basically makes your blood less likely to clot. What can it be used for? Well, in conditions where your body is more likely to clot, things like atrial fibrillation, um, it will help prevent the clot. And, you know, thrombus, again, that is a clot inside your body. It'll help either treat that clot or help the clot not you know, form. So prophylaxis or prevention it could also be used in things like veno venothromboembolism which is basically a clot either a dvt somewhere you know in your legs or it can be used for a clot in your lungs so a p there is a lot of important considerations with apixaban anticoagulants it is very important to have proper dosing and proper transitioning from other anticoagulants again i've had days and weeks and months of education on this it's not something i can cover in 30 seconds but just know it's important. So, as far as the drug, what's important to look out for? It is an anticoagulant, meaning, although it prevents clots, it can also make you bleed. So, if your body already, for some reason, already has a bleed, or you end up hurting yourself, a giant cut, you hit your head, that will be dangerous. You could potentially have internal bleeding. So, looking out for things like bleeding in vomit or looking at coffee grounds in your vomit, coughing up blood, blood in urine, blood in your stools. All of that is very important. It is important that whoever has taken this medication does not stop unless told to do so. And if you ever have any form of procedure, you need to let your surgeons and your doctor know that you're taking this medication. So adherence is always important, especially with these types of medications. Adherence is something that pharmacists have to deal with on basically a daily basis. We always have to educate patients on if they miss a dose, what do you do? Well, in this case, if it's close to the time for your next dose, skip the dose that you missed and go back to your normal schedule. It's important to know, do not take two doses at the same time. You don't need to catch up on doses. Just take it when you remember and try to align it up to your next dose. All right, so how does a Pixaban actually work? It inhibits platelet activation and fibrin clot formation via factor 10. Again, for somebody who knows nothing about medications, this doesn't mean anything to you. 
Again, this is a 30 second breakdown. There is a lot to know with these medications. So I hope you guys are appreciating maybe some of the super minor things that I give you. Okay, so acid, acid routine. Okay, so I don't know. So with things like that, there's your PPIs and H2RAs. So things like omeprazole, all of the lot. Uh, omeprazole, the prazole medications, those are PPIs, and you things like your fomotidines or H2RAs. All right, let's talk about heartburn. Now, it's important to note we're going to talk about it in the context of prescription medications. For both the medications, omeprazole and fomotidine, that we're going to discuss here, there are over the counter options, usually of a lower dose. And for both of these, we're going to talk about it for, again for heartburn or GERD, which is the gastroesophageal reflux disease. It can be used for a couple of other things, but let's focus on heartburn. All right, first we've got omeprazole, and again, there's a lot of other medications in this class, pantoprazole. These are all PPIs. So how do these work? This is a proton pump inhibitor. It suppresses basically acid secretion by inhibiting the parietal cells or the parietal cell pump. Now, what about H2R8, something like famotidine? This works by competitively inhibiting the H2 receptor of those gastric parietal cells, which once again, inhibits that acid secretion. It's pretty important to note with these medications, they are for heartburn, but these don't work immediately. Obviously, let's take a look at Tums, right? So this is, let's see, let's, uh, which one's the best here? All right, let's go with this picture. This is calcium carbonate. When you eat this, it basically neutralizes the acid right away. It is for something quick. These medications don't work like that. Usually these you have to take 30 to 60 minutes before a meal for them to actually work. As far as side effects, you can expect headache, upset stomach, stomach pain, diarrhea, and gas. One important thing to note with specifically omeprazole and other PPIs is that they do increase the risk of bone fractures. In the simplest terms, it impairs calcium absorption, which keeps your bones strong. Now, this is more for people who are taking this for a very long time or older patients. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's go back to the game. So that naming doesn't follow. Anjexin, Otitis Media. Okay, so that's an antibiotic. Lower respiratory infection, soft tissue infection. So another antibiotic. All right. I want to talk about antimicrobial stewardship. This is something that's become very important as of recent, especially to pharmacists. So what is it? It is an effort to ensure the optimal use of antibiotics. That is to avoid resistances developing. Why is this important? Well, we only have a limited amount of antibiotics. We want to avoid superbugs. Therefore, when people get sick, we can actually treat them. So how do we do this? It is prescribing the correct medications when appropriate for the duration that is appropriate and not treating things like viral diseases with antibiotics. Great example, bronchitis. It is often a viral disease and we give a lot of antibiotics for it. Just know this is extremely important in medicine right now. Asthma medication, okay. So this, I'm assuming this is supposed to be like azithromycin, hypertension, bisoprolol. Okay, so that's a. Uh, so this is a beta blocker. It's more often used to control heart rate. A lot of times for things like heart failure, it's not as often used for hypertension. Beta blockers aren't the greatest for hypertension. They can be, but they're not always it's mostly yeah beta blockers don't yeah yeah because beta blockers basically like kind of slow down your heart rate and control how hard your heart is pumping not the greatest for hypertension all right super quick on hypertension what are the normal levels for your blood pressure i'm not going to name them off they are right in front of you now what medications can we use for it we can use diuretics or water pills Beta blockers, the thing that we were just looking at, and they are broken up into cardioselective, non-cardioselective, it's a whole thing, ACE inhibitors, NGO2 receptor blockers, and calcium channel blockers, alpha-1 blockers, which aren't that great. So what do we use most often? Well, the ACE inhibitors 
and the ARBs. Those are the two best. Usually when you're prescribed your first medication, it is one of those. You can add along a diuretic if needed and the calcium channel blockers also most often prescribed second or first, sometimes in certain instances. Now, if we go to the second line therapies, there we go. Now we come to the beta blockers. These are not preferred for hypertension first line. Let's see what else? Mild anxiety. Assuming this is supposed to be like abuspirone. Cough syrup. So what's weird with this diphenoxalate is it's usually combined with another medication called atropine. It's not usually just sold on its own, so that's a little weird. Clamide, okay, so this is weird. I know they're, they're trying to allude to insulin here, but these, yeah, that one's real weird. Super quick word on type 2 diabetes oral medications. The most common, which is your metformin. This is usually prescribed first for early stages of type 2 diabetes, but there are other medications that we can use. Most interesting as of recent these sglt2 inhibitors you can also add glip ones into that category but a lot of these medications are now injectables or originally came out as injectables you guys might know them better as things like ozempic and manjaro trulicity you guys know these medications have been huge as of recent but in the game it is an oral form so let's talk about the oral form the SGLT2 has a couple of these. The one that I see the most is this Empagliflozin or Jardians. Here's what I'll say with this medication. A lot of people think it is a miracle drug. It is not. It is used in combination with lifestyle changes. If no changes of lifestyle have happened, this medication is not going to do you any good. This medication causes changes in your blood sugar, so you might have to pee more often. With medications like this, we also prescribe usually the lowest doses first. There are some gastro side effects, that nausea, that vomiting, the lightheadedness. We usually prescribe something low and go up so your body can naturally get used to the medication. I guess the part that annoys me in game, it alludes to insulin, but these medications don't deal with insulin. They work by inhibiting basically the SGLT2 in your kidneys. They reduce your body's reabsorption of glucose. Basically, you pee out the sugar. Once again, there is a lot to talk about this subject and these medications, so let's get back to the game. Dental infections, another antibiotic, migraine, sumatriptan. Okay, so yeah, that's that's what's used in real life too is a sumatriptan. Chronic venous and hemorrhoid? What? It's weird. Dilate pupil and, and eye treatments? Why would you? Okay. Pragabolin. Okay, that's... Yeah, that makes sense. That's for seizures, neurotic, uh, neural pain. Acne. Okay. Ooh, okay. This is a go-to drug. Okay, cholesterol. Yeah, Torvastat, and that's a good one. Really, what would be interesting to me which i'll ha maybe have to look at tonight is the dosing on a lot of these medications like or let, let's say this atorvastatin right it's usually 20 40 or 80 40 and 80 being the high dose and 20 being like kind of the mid dose so this one is i mean that like the dosing is right but it, i wonder for all of these like the pregabolin seems a little high yeah, so this is three, three to hundred to four hundred at max. So this is a pretty high dose. Level twenty one. We got medical products. Okay, so oh man, we're moving so quickly. I don't really have enough time to like stack all my shelves. What I'm really wondering about is again this these prescriptions. So are we gonna finally use recipe screen, dude? Am I gonna need like another one of these for myself? Guess I'm gonna need I'm gonna need enough money to buy another one. So let's buy some of this Apixaban. What happens? So like, can I put this like on my actual shelf over here? Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next day. And I think 
since I fired him, he should be gone today, right? Screen. Okay, let's start the day, because I just, I want to see if someone comes in with something prescription. What happens? Like, do I actually have to do something? I'm, I'm very, very curious. Let's go ahead and hire the other dude back and, um... Yeah, maybe we'll play around with the prescriptions once I kind of get more on the shelf. So, there's the pharmacy standard shelf has 60 and the second shelf has 80. Ooh. The other thing... This game completely lacks things out here, which is a little sad. A lot of the other simulator games had like entire towns with like extra things and things to find on the ground. Seems like this one's kind of just the store, which, you know, that's fine. But also this game just came out like not too long ago. So I act also I can't really blame them. All right, so let's go ahead and buy two more pharmacy shelves. And I know I'm kind of spending money that I don't particularly have. But I need to get these shelves going at some point. So. And then maybe now I can spend some time on getting our inventory up of the other medications too. So let's go ahead and take that Apixaban and move it over here. But let's see. Oh yeah, all of these are like 130 or more. Yeah, this is going to be... What is it? Oh, 1,700 for those. Maybe I can try and order the, some of them that are a little less expensive. I straight up can afford like four of them here. We'll just buy these four for now. I'll just yoink these ones. There we go. They also need more shelving too. Oh, because now I... Uh, cause I also have, go to my store, wait, oh yeah, I don't even have licenses for those yet, cause now I have this, oh, the personal hygiene and the medical stuff, I don't have either of these either. Oh god, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need that warehouse too.